how does a particular cell know what to do when to multiply and so on it is actually getting a signal through certain hormones and these hormones are secreted through endocrine principally through endocrine paracrine and autocrine glands and they send out the signal to specific cells on how to go about doing things so for example some of these hormones that come in they arrive at the cell and go directly into the cell these are fat soluble hormones so they can pass through the membrane and into the cell and do its thing for example when you have uh, thyroids producing particular kinds of hormones um, thc and so on they they are going directly into the cell and doing their thing and they repel water and that's why they are called hydrophobic hormones these hormones go directly into the cell in contrast with other kinds of hormones that are called peptide hormones that are water soluble but as a result don't pass through the membrane of the cells so they go on the surface of the target cell and then act on the target uh, uh, cells from the outside so this is an example of an autocrine uh, gland cell so the hormones are secreted by the cell itself and it has receptors outside the cell which gets the signal and then act on it so for example when your liver gets certain kind of damage then the autocrine ensures that it repairs itself most of the time our uh, liver regenerates and when when it doesn't that's when we get into problem of liver damage that's permanent but most of the time it repairs itself now if we can get cells to repair themselves that would be marvelous but it is hard to make the cells repair themselves it's not always that easy now the second example is a bad example in that this same kind of thing happens when cancer cells replicate inside the body the cancer cells are getting the signals from the same cells to again replicate and produce a whole bunch of them again in this case if we could inhibit the growth of these cells that would get rid of the cancer directly of course we are not able to do that with our current technology on the other hand there are paracrine signaling that goes on inside the body so here is one cell uh, and it is sending a signal to a nearby cell and that's 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 where the name paracrine comes from uh, sending signal to a nearby cell so for example we know that hair follicle growth is uh, a, a principal case for paracrine signaling so if hair, hair follicle grows in one spot uh, it can signal to a nearby uh, cell to grow more hair follicle again this is not a technology that we are close to uh, getting perfection I'm an example of that uh, on the other hand the second example the fibroblast growth factor in fetuses is one where how fetuses grow and grow inside uh, the uterus and eventually come out as a baby that's another example where a lot of paracrine signaling happens um, so can we do something about these autocrine and paracrine signaling through yoga the answer is in some cases yes there are these brain derived neurotropic factors which shortly called uh, bdnf we have found there was a paper in 2017 which clearly showed that bdnf is related to autocrine and paracrine signal so 
yoga does have a very very clear effect on autocrine and paracrine paracrine signaling in certain cases and here is one uh, study that was done using the proper standard gold standard protocol of um, using control group and so on in order to demonstrate that the final thing that i want to talk a little bit more about is endocrine signaling so endocrine signaling is when one cell one cell from the body does something gets into the bloodstream and goes to another part of the body and gives the signal to another cell and this endocrine system is an extensive cell system inside our body and these endocrine glands are the principal motor for all sorts of things that we don't even think of happening inside our body so cells inside our brain are sending out signals to do something at the tip of our feet we don't think of that they are that intimately connected but they are so where are these things happening the endocrine system is something that looks like this so you have on the brain itself you have three big ones pineal gland hypothalamus and pituitary glands these are endocrines inside our brain in terms of size they're tiny tiny things they're no more than the size of an almond for example the hypothalamus is a small thing yet it has an effect that can change your body's function in fundamental way which can actually kill you uh, on our neck we have thyroid and parathyroid cell uh, uh, glands that affect various kinds of other body function i'll come to that in a second and then there is thymus and then there is pancreas and then there are adrenal don't let the size of each object fool you because they don't necessarily the, the effect are not necessarily proportional to the size of those objects so what happens in uh, in our body these are some examples of where these hormones are produced and what kind of effect it has for example in our adrenal gland we have things happening that regulates the blood pressure in our pituitary gland we have growth hormones which affect growth and development of the body if your pituitary gland stop functioning you stop growing physically you stop growing similarly through thyroid glands we have thyroid hormones which control the metabolism of the body so one example for example when you see people whose eyes get bulgier and bulgier over time that is a clear sign that their thyroids are overactive and that's called graves disease so if you take the picture of the same person over a period of time and you see over a period of say three four five years their eyes are getting bigger and bigger and bigger proportional to their head you know what they're suffering from they're suffering from graves disease and each of these things we do know we do have experiments now especially in the last decade which show that yoga can actually help developing in or optimizing the flow of these hormones not every one of them but a bunch of them i'm going to talk more about each one specifically in my other talk